Now for this first part of the question, we're given these two unit vectors i and j, i due east and j due north. And we're told that we have a boat P which is moving with a constant velocity of minus 4i plus 8j kilometers per hour. Just mark that in as kilometers per hour. So you can see I've drawn this vector in such a way that essentially it's four units to the left and eight units up in the j direction. And we're asked to calculate the speed of the boat P. And that's represented by the length of this line, the magnitude as we say. So looking at this diagram, that's going to be fairly straightforward because this length across here is four units. Upwards we go eight units. So to get this length, knowing that it's a right angle triangle, we could use Pythagoras' theorem. So that speed then is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the two shorter sides. So you could either write this as minus four or squared if you use this value, but it's the length that we're after. So if you don't want to write that, just then write four squared. Four squared plus eight squared, it's up to you. But if you work this out, you've got the square root then of 16 plus 64, which is the square root of 80. If you do this on a calculator, it might give you the exact value as 4 root 5. Or if you put it as a decimal, the disadvantage with that is that you get to have to approximate it. It comes out at 8.944 and so on. So if you approximate it, say, to one decimal place, it'll be 8.9, and the units would be kilometers per hour. And let's put that to, say, one dp, one decimal place. OK, so uh, hopefully that gives you an idea of how to work out the speed then, the magnitude of the vector.